Welcome back, everyone. This is SciTech with TechRag Gaming and another episode in our Planet Crafter Hardcore playthrough. Uh, so I did a little bit of uh, running around off camera. Uh, nothing major, just back to the rack and back to the um, uh, area where we found the pulsar quartz to gather up all the materials we had in the lockers in the um, little hab units and bring them back to base. Um, while I was out running around, I did run into a couple things, one of which we're going to go look at shortly, and um, <clears throat> we will check it out together, because I forced myself not to check it out until we were on video, so here we are. Um, some things that we're going to do immediately today, I am going to take us down, we're going to get the rest of our screens built, um, because I think that's important. I might not have all the material that we need, so we might have to go scrounge some up. <clears throat> but I want to see what it's going to take to get the rest of the screens up. I may even put another table, like right here, maybe. Um, so we have a big screen right here. Now, this orbital information screen, which displays information about rockets in orbit. So a few episodes ago, I know you guys probably remember, I was complaining that I couldn't remember where I left off on my rockets going up there, and I wish there was a way to see what our current multipliers were and things like that. I'm hoping that this screen will do it. I don't know that for sure. This wasn't in the game when I played last, so we're going to get this built. But look at the energy consumption from this screen. All these other screens, 0 0.4, 1.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 14.7, that's kind of high. 35.2, that's crazy. And then 3.4 for this huge biomass screen. So... Um, we have about 187 power. Now I know just to look down here instead of trying to do the math myself. Um, <clears throat> so we can probably still get them. But... I don't know. So we have to get the uh, transmission screen. Even though we can't use it yet because I haven't built the dish. That'll be the next thing we do after putting the screens down. We'll build our communications dish. Um... But we'll go ahead and get this screen built. Um, two silica, iron, and magnesium. That's easy enough. Okay. Now we obviously no communication antenna in range, so we'll have to go up on top. Or maybe put a platform right outside this wall and uh, stick an antenna on it. <clears throat> if you can put them on platforms. I don't know if you can or not. We'll play around with it. All right. We already have the screen mapping screen. Uh, we have the power screen. We have the blueprint screen. We have both of these screens. <clears throat> the terraformation screen and the progress screen. Um, microchip compass. <clears throat> let's get this biomass screen because it's a big screen. It can go up on the wall. So let's do that. Iron, silicon, aluminum. I think it's a big screen. It should go right next to this one. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, it says plants, insects. Oh, there is animals. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, when we were flying back that one episode, I think one or two episodes ago, I, I said I don't think that they have animals, just insects. So apparently I'm wrong. Unless this grayed out means that it's coming in the future, maybe. So maybe I'm not wrong. But not right either. In between. All right. Um... So what do we need for this? We need a microchip compass and an osmium. Don't know if I have any osmium left. Oh, I do. Okay. So let's see what we need for a microchip compass. Two aluminum, magnesium, and silicone. Magnesium. Uh, 
Okay. This should be a small screen. Orbital information screen. Oh, I wasn't too far off. I'm one. This is cool. This is exactly what I wanted to see. That's cool. They got a little graphic. Kind of showing it. Huh. Planetary view. I like that. So we have 40,000 now. If we, did, uh, <clears throat> if we did another 1,000% multiplier, we'd be interested to see what that boosts to. Pressure rocket. <clears throat> All right, maybe we'll launch a pressure rocket too to see what that pushes that number to. All right, so that should be all our screens. So let's see what we need for our communications array. Oh, geez, that's cheap. Iron, titanium, silicon, aluminum. Oh, I always click on those badges. All right, communication array we can build. Now the question is, I wanted to be able to put stuff on this second and third level potentially. So I'm wondering if I can just stick it out here on the ledge. <laughs> Don't know if that's a possibility or not. Does not look like I can put it on the platforms. Uh, did I put an extra platform over here? I think I did. Oh, nope, I must have killed it. I was going to see if I had a full platform, if it would let me stick it on there. I think it only lets me stick it on the HAB units, right? Hmm. One, two, three, four, I guess we have this outside edge, which is not symmetrical with everything else above it. So I guess I'm going to put it anywhere. I can put it here. So let's do that. Okay. Let's go grab some water. Since we're out. Uh, the other thing I ran into when I was hauling material back and forth was I found just some flowers growing wild out in, like, where I was running back and forth. Uh, one of them was a 450% flower, and the other one was a 350% flower. Or a 550, I think. It was a 450 and a 550. So I swapped them out out here um, for the 400s. But I just thought it was interesting that I found them just growing wild. All right, so let's go check our communications panel out. Probably a lot of stuff in here, or not. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, so apparently we're convicts. You've chosen to commute your sentence into an extradition. In order to be released of all charges pending against you, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and will send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corp in any case. If our sensors do not detect any advancement on the terraformation process, you will be considered missing. The charges will not be dropped. You cannot claim property or value over anything on the planet. You are only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. You are not allowed to leave this planet until the terraformation is complete. 3058. Okay. I guess, I think, I thought they would queue up as we made progress, and then when we did this, it would just all dump into the terminal, but apparently that's not the case. So we'll probably just start getting a flood of messages, is my guess. Um, yeah. Uh, recording a little bit early. Yes, here we go, there you go. Message. <laughs> Recording a little earlier than I normally do, so my phone wasn't on D&D yet, so I paused there for a minute to just get it on D&D a little bit early. All right, let's see what it says. Your planet specifications. Identification unnamed. Corporation ownership unclaimed. 
Habitability level null. Sector is Zigil Prime. History unknown. Unnamed planet is located in the Zigil Prime sector, a pre civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships to travel between big spaceports. The sector count 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and is 7.00 parsecs wide. The planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. Perfect. So it said trade ship zone, so I'm guessing the wrecks we're finding are crashed trade ships. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm guessing we're going to keep getting these messages like every few minutes, so I just will let them queue up a bit and we'll review them in a little while. <coughs> okay. Now we have a few extra machines that I want to try and build. Um, oh, I wanted to mention something too. When I was bringing um, equipment or uh, resources back from where we had done gathering, I got hit with an interesting storm. <clears throat> there was nothing I'd ever seen on the planet before. There was like a giant red purple star in the sky and it rained down micrometeorites like these purplish glowing micrometeorites that hit the ground and they exploded into super alloy and i got 25 super alloy um out of the falling meteors so that was pretty fantastic i basically filled up my inventory with the micrometeorites that were falling all around me it's the first time I'd ever seen that because it didn't exist the last time I played. So I wish it had happened while I was recording, but unfortunately it didn't. So I don't get to show it to you unless it happens to us again. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. It was a it was a super alloy meteor shower. Meteor shower. Um, okay, I want to get one of these gas extractors down. So let's do that. So I think I have an iridium rod that I picked up from our previous exploration resources. Yeah, we have a few of them. Uh, I I don't think I'm going to put two of these down. Uh, they take 58 power. Let's make sure we have enough power. Okay, we do. Let's hydrate ourselves. You know what? Let's go take care of our food situation too real quick before I forget. And then we'll come down and finish building um, or getting the materials we need to build the uh, gas extractor. I'm guessing they're going to give us those methane cartridges is my hope. Oh, I think I have some food around the front here. I have one. <laughs> okay. We got water in here, so I'll just grab another water. Are these ready? Okay. We have way a lot of eggplant right now. Well, way a lot. I've got as much as I can hold here and as much as I can hold here in my overflow locker. So we'll work on converting those into fertilizer as well. I've been collecting the bark out of these and putting them downstairs, but I'm not sure how quick these things fill up. And I did realize, I did figure out that it's not two of them. It just gives you two panels, which is fine. I thought it was going to be pretty spectacular if they were both sides were generating at the same time. So we're, we're getting a fair amount of bark collected here. All right, so we need three super alloy and two zeolite. Uh, it's going to be down here. I'm not sure where I got to put these gas extractors. If I can just stick them out there. Let's put it on the industrial side. I consider this my nature side and this my pollute the atmosphere side. <laughs> uh, I think I might put some of these gas extractors like all along this rocket launch platform maybe. See how all oh, these aren't very big at all. I mean they don't put out a lot of heat at all, like 13 PKS. Um, they consume a lot of energy, but I'm guessing, yeah, see they're gonna make methane cartridges is what I thought it would do. But it only has four slots, so maybe I want to deploy a few of these. Maybe I'll line them up along here and we'll just have all the methane we want for days. Um, Maybe we'll do that. Uh, okay, the other thing I wanted to try building is this. Oh my god, it takes 117.5 power. We don't have enough. We're going to need another nuclear reactor. Hmm. 
two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, nine, three, six, nine, three. Math is hard. Somebody said I can just... Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, one of you left a comment that I can hold the control down in crafting as well as in building. And in crafting, I can just, you know, hold control and craft as many as I need instead of having to keep going back in. My God, would that have been fantastic when I was converting ice to water. I think you guys didn't tell me just to make me suffer. <laughs> Thank you again to the viewer that left that tip. Very beneficial. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so what do we need for another tier two? We need explosive powder. I think we got all that stuff. We had one explosive powder that I found, and we definitely have the alloy. What did I need? Three? One. Okay, we just need some water, which we can grab outside. I need... I can't remember if I left those two extra platforms, so I'm just going to bring four iron with me just in case. I grab that water. Can't remember if I left. I did leave two extra. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. Just happen to have extra water on me, so yay. All right, let's see what we need. I don't know what this DNA thing does, if I can even use it right now. Um, explosive powder, bioplastic. Bio I don't know, do I have bioplastic? I do. I need to make an explosive powder, so that's going to be iridium to sulfur. Uh, what else do I need for this? Osmium, zeolite, super alloy. Okay. Osmium, zeolite, super alloy, bioplastic. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, explosive powder. Okay. Um, I don't understand what this does. Manipulates DNA to create new genes. I have to imagine it has something to do with the insect and animal larvae and, you know, creating different species by crossbreeding them or something. I don't know and I'm not sure where I should build this, but luckily we can pick it up and move it later. Looks kind of cool. How big is it? Oh, it's pretty big. I want this up here. I mean, this is kind of like my little bio lab area. Maybe I'll put it in the corner here. Make might make sense. Kind of hitting the ceiling a little bit there, but you know, whatever. What what is it? Show DNA recipes. So we get tree seeds. I'm guessing those are going to go in our tree spreaders, is my guess. DNA research. Ooh. Oh, are you serious? I don't have them. Mm.
Hmm. Right, we're gonna make a quick run real quick. I could use what I have, but I, I want to test this out. So I think I know what this thing does. But before I speak out and be wrong about it, um, what do I have on me? Two water, two food. Okay, we got enough. Another viewer said these zeolite roots will be popping up all over the place. So I'm not necessarily going to be stopping to pick them up anymore. I found that comment to be relatively true. I'm starting to see more and more and more of them as I'm um, uh, running around the planet. I hear meteors. Or maybe it's a dust storm. Appears to be a dust storm. Oh, I wasn't here. Dang it. Forgot which uh, which module I left those uh, Lerma flowers in. That's okay. Small detour. I was like, what are those things glowing on my beach? I think that's my tier 4 drills. Holy yellow sandstorm. We're going to stop off up here. And just top off our food. And our oxygen, I guess, as well. Oh, I don't have any. I uh... guess I can eat some of that squash just because. Okay. Going this way. I'm going to spoil what I found when I was taking this shortcut. Oh yes, our ore tier 2 extractors. I'm so excited we're going to be working on those. This is what I discovered. Now a viewer in my last episode did drop a comment saying, Hey, there's something kind of cool going on in that iridium cave. And I noticed this when I was bringing things back and forth and that I can highlight it and it says climb. So we are going to check that out. We're just not going to do it just this minute. Because I purposely made myself not go up that thing until we are in a recording video, so. Now, let me just top off my O2 here. Okay. Hopefully you guys had a good week. It's Friday for me and probably for most of you. Um, if you're watching this on Friday, if not, you're already past it and into the weekend, hopefully. Oh, a nuclear fusion generator. Somebody told me that once we got to fusion, I would not need uranium anymore. Um, that would be kind of huge. And so that right there answers the question of can you fly up over the sand falls with a jetpack? Yes, you can. I don't need anything in there right now. Came over here for one thing in particular. I also did go back inside this wreck and found some solar panels that I did not dismantle. So I dismantled those solar panels as well. There we go. That's what I want. Might as well just grab all this stuff now that I'm back over here. Because so I kind of left all that stuff in there as worthless and not needed. But since we're headed right back to base, we'll just take it all with us. Clear out the last bit. I also did not go into either one of these caves. 
uh, to clear out those resources. So the uh, zeolite cave or the um, pulsar quartz cave. Just gonna top off our O2 here real quick. Okay. I still don't know if uh, the jetpack travel with the tier three jetpack is better than the tier three mobility boots because we never made those. So maybe at some point we'll make those tier 3 mobility boots and pop them on and see which way is faster. I just love hovering above the ground, right? Even if they are, you know, relatively the same speed. Okay. Is this... Can I just research that? Oh, can I put 3 in there? Oh, dang it. Thought that would be a recipe for learning how to create Lerma seeds. I wonder what happens if I put those in there. Does that do anything? I don't know what I'm supposed to put in here. I mean, it's obviously letting me put seeds. Hmm. I'm guessing you have to like I wonder if there's any particular order. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Be nice if there was some kind of hint. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm supposed to put in there or you know how I discover recipes for that research you let me know in the comments below please would help me out a ton I mean I can always go do my own research but I think it's a lot more engaging if I get it from you guys guys and gals I'm not trying to uh, discount any one group <clears throat> um, all right I need to I got overflow for flower and seeds down here somewhere uh, it's around the corner. Yeah. Because I'm out of room upstairs because of the eggplant. So got a little overflow chest down here. Okay. So. Uh, well, these things aren't cheap. But oh my god, look at the power these things put out. 1485? Holy crap. It's just a little, I mean, it's like four and a half times the power. Five pulsar quartz? I don't think I have five pulsar quartz. <laughs> I know where more are, so I don't have a problem utilizing those. Okay, we're going to do it because I have the super alloy and the pulsar cords on me, so. Uh, what did I need for that? Uh, four? <laughs> How big is this thing? It's probably massive. Uh, it's tiny. Oh, we got a new message. Um, okay. Wow.
<laughs> I mean, that looks cool. <laughs> I like that. Super small footprint, too. Uh, super alloy rod. A hundred and sixty four energy. Uh, I kind of want to go go slap one of these down in an Osmium cave. Oh, I don't have enough. Will it take three? trying to decide if I want to go scavenge for the stuff to put one of these down because Osmium is getting super rare for me right now to, to find. I've cleared out most of the caves. There's only one left I think that I haven't cleared out that I know of anyway. There might be more that I haven't found yet but um, all right let's go um, let's check out our messages first. I just want to double check our power here. Yeah look at that 1774 it's fantastic. Um, let's check our messages. All right, before I read that, I'm going to hydrate. Okay. Hello? I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate of Planet Crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. You should find space, space food in your pod and maybe in space wrecks. You'll be able to grow food by yourself when you meet the correct requirements, so try to find some vegetable seeds. Exploration improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chance of survival. Hope this message will reach you. Ooh, so we've got a mysterious supporter out there. It's interesting. Um, let's go check out that little tree in the Iridium Cave. We'll do something fun for a second before we get to the chores. <laughs> I'm really curious to see where this goes because it goes straight up to the top there, which I've never been up to. Oh, do I have food on me? I do. Okay. Okay, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm worried I'm going to get up here and just find something nuts crazy. Okay, here we go. Climb. Oh, I see open sky. Whoa. Okay, so that's the tree we just climbed up. Can't do anything with those plants. Like a pitcher plant? <laughs> it's kind of cool. I guess I can collect up this zeolite that's laying around. I like the pitcher plants. Uh, somebody also told me, uh, and one of the viewers left a comment saying that I missed a key. I'm surprised I can't do anything with these. Um, in the in the temple in the mushroom river, uh, where we found the ghost ship. Uh, so I might go back there in this episode too to check that out. Oh, okay, that was a good chest. I have to be cognizant of our O2. I only one canister left. Uh, is that all that's up here? Well, there's something over here. Um, do I really need those flowers? Probably not. No eggplant seeds. I don't know that I want to grab those seeds yet. Fill up my inventory. Uh... 
Uh, can I get further up there? I might be able to. This is right above my base. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. Can I keep going up this? Oh, wow. Wow, that's really cool. I mean, I don't see anything else up here, but... It seems like an awful lot to do for nothing kind of spectacular or special. Yeah, okay. Think I can go down this? Huh. Well, we got the osmium we needed to do our drill, which is fantastic. If I missed something up there, you guys feel free to... Why is this so dark in here? Do I not have lights in my base? <laughs> A little weird. I think we use this tier 2 fertilizer in a recipe later on, or maybe up in the lab. I can't remember. I know I've seen it somewhere. Maybe just we make it up in the lab. I think that's maybe where I've seen it. Um, all right, let's drop off our overflow flour and seeds. No, oh, our food, seeds. Do I need water? Hey, you know what, I think I'm going to collect up this water that's out here and I'm going to put a water chest downstairs so we don't have to keep running upstairs for water. And I'm kind of disappointed. I thought that vine was going to go, I mean, it was a cool area. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, there was nothing up there but a couple of blue chests and some zeolite. I mean, I guess you could build a base up there maybe, but... Is this... are these regular meteors? Yeah, they're regular meteors. Okay. Um, I need to get my another. I was missing an O2 tank. I couldn't figure out what I was missing in my inventory. I'm not a uh, cobalt, am I? Oh, okay. Okay. The other thing I wanted to make was this exoskeleton T2. Because I want to get the T3 eventually, but you need a T2 to get the T3, and we're only on a T1 right now. So I want to get the T2 unlocked since it's so cheap. Two magnesium, titanium, silica. Alright, so I'm going to have to take some things off. Um, let's take that off. Can I take the backpack? Uh, nope. Oh, let's drop that. Oh, I can't drop that. Let's drop that. Drop that. Uh, what did I just drop? Where, I'm okay. Um, let's take Drop that rod. Okay. All right.
There we go. Got a few extra slots now. Not that we need them. But we might want some of these extra modules. I want to get this tier two light also. So let's do that. Aluminum, magnesium, and sulfur. Easy enough. Better lighting microchip. Oh, it definitely seems better. I'll have to see it at night. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I want to craft. Maybe we could do these mining speed things, but I don't know that I need faster mining speed. It doesn't seem to bother me at the current speed. And we don't have the tier three uh, mobility boots. I mean, I guess I don't think we do. Let's just double check. We're on tier two still. All right, all right. You talked me into it. <laughs> uh. All right. See how fast we run. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is faster than the jetpack. Yeah, definitely not faster than the, than the than the jetpack, not by a long shot. So maybe that was a waste of resources there, but whatever. We had to try, right? Oh, did we get a message? I think we got a message. Let's double check. Yep, we did. Oh, Riley is the name. I didn't see a name on the letter, but I just noticed on the left it says from Riley. Um, so let's see what Riley. Every time I go to read a message. Yep, drink some water. Okay. Um, let's see what Riley has to say. I managed to sneak more informations. More informations. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing you can end of communication. She got cut off. Message intercepted. Plot thickens. I'm going to guess the altitude comment is because of that right there. Meaning that if we built, built in the lowlands, it would have been flooded and unusable. As we've learned, we can't breathe inside of our modules that are underwater. Okay. What to do now? I mean, I still I want to get this tier 2 drill. This is going to be a little costly. Oof, it's going to use a lot of my super alloy. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, I think it's only eight actually in an aluminum. I think it's eight in an aluminum if I remember correctly. Let's see if I'm right about that. Yep, I think I am. Okay. Three osmium. Okay. Unfortunately, we got to take a little trip to deploy this puppy. Closest osmium cave is off the sulfur thing, I think. I mean, it might be arguable that that small one, you know, over by the rock spires is closer. But. Yeah, I started employing that fly up high thing to get up off cliffs instead of having to try and use the ramps. It's fantastic. And now that I know we have enough power to deploy this thing. We'll see if this actually works. Holy crap, this thing is big. Can I get this in here somewhere? I want to see it. Let's see. Good enough. Wow, that is a big locker. Oh yeah, look at that, Osmium Ore. All right, fantastic.
I'm happy about that. That could have been disastrous. I need to get some food on me ASAP. Only have one water left on me too. Let's grab what's in here. I have a feeling I should go back up there. It seems like I just didn't see something. Like it just seems like they went to a whole lot of effort to implement that and have no have no reason for going up there. Uh yeah, let's sort this up. Okay. I was gonna grab some food while we were up here, but I have no space. So we'll have to go back for it. I mean, they only have one lacquer of cobalt. That's not good. Okay, silica. Titanium. Uh, nope. Stop clicking on the badge. All right. Iron. Iridium. Sulfur. That's over here. Okay. Just grab some food before we find ourselves in an unfortunate event. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take it right out of here. I really want to harvest these eggplant again, but I've just got so much. I need to turn it into... Oh, I need sulfur, though. I didn't get a lot of sulfur out of that last clean out because I was going over there and pulling just the sulfur, and it was filling up with the non-sulfur stuff, so we should get more sulfur out of it now that I've cleared that drill out. Um... I think we should finish clearing out our drill real quick over here and then we'll clear out the one by the base and then we'll clear out the two aluminum drills and it'll just be a good collection to kind of restock our ores that was burning through them pretty good. Give us a chance to build some more stuff. I think I want to put a pressure rocket out next. What's going on here? All oh, this stuff came down from meteors. Go ahead and grab that up. We'll take what we can from here. Yeah, that's funny. It looked like it filtered based on cobalt, but it didn't. It just happened to pull them out that that way. All right, iridium. Ah, stop clicking on the badge. Is that our third locker of silica? It is. All right, new message. We're into our third locker of magnesium also, which is good. Uh, iron. Oh, let's see if Riley's talking to us some more. Oh, nope. Convict. Oh, this is another planet crafter, maybe? To whom will receive this message? I'm a planet crafter sent on the Megoria 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough on this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. So, Megoria 3... I don't think we'll be able to help that guy out anytime soon. Hopefully he makes it. <laughs> he or she, I guess. 
Yeah, it just says convict. <laughs> okay. Um, we got our tier two ore extractor down. Got our communications right. I mean, I could make the shredder machine the recyclotron, but I just don't feel like doing it now because I don't have a need to have them. Uh, oh yeah, rocket. Let's go see what we need for a pressure rocket. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's silicone. Okay. Map information rocket. Display points of interest. Oh, nine more or eight more super alloys and two osmiums. I'm not sure what that gives me. I know it will mark things on the map, but I'm not sure if it's worth that resource cost. Um, the satellite might be. Uh, satellite T3 might be because I can scroll or scroll out and zoom out on the map. All right, so we'll go get the silica rocket or pressure rocket going. I think that's everything we need. Three silica, two super alloy, and a rocket engine. Yes, I know I'm thirsty. I'm always perpetually thirsty. Pressure rocket. Boom. So we were at like 39,000, I think. I'm you know, just kind of thinking if I put a tier two extractor in one of those pulsar quartz caves, do you think I would get pulsar quartz out of it? That would allow me to make those uh, fusion generators basically for free because I'd have an osmium ore extractor and a pulsar quartz ore extractor. I mean, I should be watching where these meteors are falling, but I really don't care about the iridium at the moment. It was more about the pressure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I know. Well, right, it didn't boost us as much as I thought it would. From 39 to 56. But if we get a couple more tier 4 drills down, I don't have enough osmium. Wow, that was a humongous <laughs> meteorite. Did you guys see that? Hey, look at these chunks of stone. It's crazy. Was a huge meteor. Yeah, look at all the algae I got out here too. It's good to go. Uh, all right, let's dump this off. All right, let's take a look at our progress here again. Um, oxygen. I mean, is that are those? I mean, those tier two flower spreaders are putting out some. Let's see, we'll get a bag. What does this take? One hundred and sixty one versus. Yeah, so it's double.
It's double. How many do I have out here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, might do something crazy here. Eleven, twelve. Eleven, twelve. Sorry, folks, I'm just doing math in my head here. Bear with me. Ten, eleven, twelve, ten. Why is this room so dark? Uh, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. All right, we're gonna do something a little crazy. Uh, I don't think I have enough sulfur. Might have to make a trip over to the sulfur flats to get some sulfur. I don't think we have near enough sulfur. Two, four, six, oh my gosh, we have just enough. Um, Should I put all that eggplant in my inventory? Uh, let me go drop some of it back off. Uh, yeah. All right, we are gonna upgrade all of our spreaders and then we're gonna throw up a oxygen rocket. Yeah, any more than that. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I might not be able to hold all the ingredients for five of these, but we'll see. Uh, five uh, over here. Just enough, it looks like. I think that'll do. I think that'll give us five. Okay, now we had a couple in our man made chest. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I only need one more. So let's go to here. One, two, three. Go with a sulfur locker. Let's grab one of those. Okay. Uh, let's see, can I put these? Yeah, I can. All right. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is we're going to get the materials we need to upgrade our flower spreaders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now I just need... I'm just going to dump these off for right now. Uh, let's make sure we have enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten. Okay. 
Now comes the question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, let's do five. Do five for right now. Okay. Back to just one cabinet of cobalt. It's crazy. I can't tell you how great that tip was that you guys left me about holding control while I'm crafting. That's just fantastic. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Go here. We're gonna grab all of those. Uh two water versus three water. Okay. Do I have enough open slots? I do. All right, we're going to painstakingly upgrade these. Take the flower out. Disassemble. Flower spreader. Boom. Put that back in. Mm, these excess materials might fill up our inventory. We we'll, might not be able to do all of these. Okay. Wow, these are super close together. <laughs> I might push this one out a little bit. Um, all right, let's get some O2. We'll come back and finish that up. Is this one upgraded? Yeah. Okay, there's one of those flowers I found. It was 500%. It was just growing wild when I picked it. another flower I found that was outgrown in the wild. It's 450. Okay. Now we have all tier 2 flower spreaders all the way up and down. I mean, these are not. These are tier 1s up here, but I'm not really interested in going back behind and upgrading those. Um, let's sort this. Got a bunch more magnesium to dump off. Some water to dump off. Uh, let's just top off. That's fine. Top off our food. Are these fully grown again? Oh, pretty close. Okay. Now we gotta go see what we need for this rocket 
And then we'll take a look at our... Uh, we will take a look at our... Come on. Get on the ladder. Okay. Um, our oxygen production. Alloys. Uh-oh. Mutagen. I don't know that I can make mutagen. We'll have to look. Bacteria, mutagen, and bark. Oh, we can because we have all oh, what it needs. We need two super alloy, a rocket engine. A mutagen, a bacteria sample. Now I don't remember what the last thing was. Dang it. Sorry folks, I'm gonna have to go look again. That's why I really wish they could have a terminal inside that will give you the recipes for the rockets. I hate having to come out here to look at my recipes for my rockets. Oh, bark. Bark was the other thing we needed. Okay, looks like we can do this. Wow, just six algae and six water. Got that. Methane and sulfur. Oh, this gives you O2 capsules too? I mean, okay. That was kind of cool. I didn't realize it would give you O2 capsules. Oh, I forgot my sulfur. Dang it. Probably don't have to go. Well, I'm going back downstairs anyway. I was going to say I was just going to grab a bark out of there, but it's like literally right here. Okay, and then I need... Two super alloys and a rocket engine. Okay, let's go do this O2 rocket. Make sure I'm picking the right one. Seed spreader rocket. Oh wow, that looks really cool. The plant growing up the middle of it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Is it gonna launch? Okay. <laughs> Thought it was gonna bug out on me. In early access, um, I launched a rocket and a meteor hit it right when I hit the button and knocked it over and it like went shooting like all over the map. Like it was crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go check out our panel now on rockets, and we should see our multiplier on oxygen. Then we can see how our number is doing also. Um, so here's our, yep, so we have our 1,000% oxygen, our 4,000 heat and pressure. Oh my gosh, look at what that jumped that to. 316,000 PPQ a second. Wow. Yeah, so our pressure is now the thing that is low. I'm going to consider these methane things to be... You know, I'm going to be getting a lot out of that machine. I should probably just make a methane storage Methane. 
but I was also watching my video and editing it for the aluminum and I left an extra L in here. So we're gonna take that out and fix that. Okay. And we'll dump off this excess methane. Um, sweet. Our terraformation index is it? I mean, it's hard to see if it's moving because we've gotten to that one point. I mean, it's going up, but. Biomass could obviously stand to go up. I don't know what we do for that. Is plants considered biomass maybe? Oh look, we're almost done with flora and we'll be into trees. 91%. No, there's plants. 5.34T, 789.74. 789.74. Okay, so biomass is plants. So we need a plant rocket is what we need. I mean, it's not going to take us up much, but it's going to get us going. Uh, we don't have any more rocket engines, though, so we're going to have to make one. And we're getting low on super alloy. Let's see what we need for a plant rocket. I believe that's this one. Yeah. A lerma seed, a fertilizer, two alloys, rocket engine. Okay. All right, we can do this. Um, okay. I keep thinking I have two lockers of cobalt and I don't. Okay, a lerma seed. We got fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer needed sulfur. Uh, three algae. Two eggplant. Where am I in a bark? Let's grab our bark. Uh, actually, my overflow seeds, I think I have Lerma in. Here, I do. Okay. Let's grab our two eggplant. I think that's all I need. I made this fertilizer enough. I should have this damn thing memorized. Yeah. Okay, so two super ally, rocket engine, bark, lerma seed, fertilizer. Okay, that should be enough for plant rocket. Uh, oxygen, plant rocket. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's very cool. I like the green light and the plants kind of weaving up like that. It's really good. Okay, so we were at like 768 on our number for plants.
I mean, what is that going to do? It's not going to shower anything down. Air filter? Is it just going to make like a dust storm or something? Oh, look at like the green stuff coming down. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's go check out our numbers. We were at, oh yeah, I mean, we were at 700 and something G a second, now we're at 7,000. Oh, we progressed to trees. Or we got to trees. Now we're going to insects. Wow. That's fantastic. Um, the next thing to work on is pressure. Where are we at on episode time? One hour and 15 minutes. I think we'll call that an episode. And what I'll do um, between episodes is I'll kind of formulate a plan for what to do next. And uh, we're obviously going to work on our pressure and try and get some tier 4 drills. But uh, these tier 4 drills are expensive. Um, we have an osmium drill now. I might play around with dropping one of these tier 2 ore extractors in the pulsar quartz cave and see if it generates pulsar quartz. I don't know how many more things we have to unlock. Oh, we did just get an air filter. Let's see what we need for that. I'm guessing that's going to be made over here. Uh, we're doing this. Oops. Yeah, we're going to do this right now. Uh, we are doing this right now. This. This. Nope, not the badge. This. 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 Two bioplastic, osmium, methane, fabric. Okay. Osmium. Fabric. Methane. Uh, two bioplastic. I think I have bioplastic. I do. Reduces oxygen consumption depending on the terraformation level. Good thing we made that belt. I wouldn't have had enough, uh, or exoskeleton, I wouldn't have had enough to hold it. Okay, so added that little number down underneath our O2 that says minus 3.8 per second. So I'm standing out here. How fast is that draining? I mean, doesn't necessarily look like it's going any slower. I mean, I guess trees is not that far along on the terraformation scale. Maybe midway? I don't know. I don't know what our consumption per second is, so I don't know how much we have to make up to like break even so we don't lose oxygen at all. I mean, I guess it's going decent. I mean, maybe it is going slower. Anyway, all right, we got an air filter. That's fantastic. So as we increase to the terraformation stages, we should get more of a bonus from that air filter. Let's take a look at our message before we call it episode. Oh, we have Riley reaching back out again. So let's see what Riley has to say. Encrypted. Use ore extractors in different areas to extract specific materials, and rockets are really important and help boost your generation of and a bunch of like gobbledygook from an encrypted message. Okay. Thank you, Riley. We are already doing that, but I appreciate the information. Uh, did I want to, oh, damn it. Good thing I put a water locker down here. Could have been dangerous. Um. You know what? Let's go out and check our osmium drill before we call it an episode. 
I just am curious to see how much osmium, if any, it is generating for us. It's weird that that ice hasn't fully melted. Even when I played in early, early access, like all the ice fully melted from the caves. Oh my God. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Uh, yes, thank you. Holy, what is this dropping? Why is this blue? Why are these blue? What is it dropping? Is this dropping osmium? Or cobalt? Oh my gosh, I gotta fly over here real quick and get some O2. What was this dropping over here? Okay, that's crazy. Where are the things that it dropped? And that's in the ground, so it didn't drop that cobalt. Oh, did, is it, did it drop sulfur? Like maybe it dropped sulfur. Can't get that one. <laughs> kind of sucks. Wow, these boulders need to dissipate a lot faster. Looks like it landed over here too. Oh yeah. both of those so we can get a couple extra sulfur because we were running low on sulfur so I don't mind Uh, that drill did really well in that osmium cave. I mean, if that 13 out of all those slots were filled with osmium, if I could get that from the pulsar quartz cave and get pulsar quartz that way. Um, we're off to the races from a power perspective. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, it is osmium. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to come back out and collect that. Go to get the osmium drill and get an osmium meteorite storm. That's fantastic. Good, we were out of iron. I mean, I can go get more iron. There's plenty of regular drills around. Oh, whoops. Titanium. Oh, that's iron. Titanium. Silica. Punish the sulfur a little bit. Let's go collect up this osmium. Okay, just the three pieces. Some 
dissipating boulders over here. I only see one piece though. Drop some sulfur. Drop sulfur and osmium, it looks like those blue meteors drop. That's pretty cool. I don't see any cluster of. Osmium or sulfur around, so it looks like no other. Uh, yeah. Oh. I guess that air filter is ha helping a little bit. I'm noticing I can stay out quite a, a, a fair amount longer than I could before. All right, we're going to go dump this off and we're going to call this an episode. Um, in between episodes, I'll make a plan for what we're going to do next. Most likely, we're going to be getting a bunch of tier four drills out. Maybe I'll do something insane, like try and get enough materials so that we can upgrade all of our uh, seven tier two drill or tier three drills. We'll see. I'm glad we found that osmium, though. That was good. And that storm also gave us a little refresh on sulfur, which is what we needed, so... All right, I think we'll end the episode down here today um, in front of our screens. Um, kind of better than up at the door. So we'll call it there today. I appreciate everyone hanging out with me, stopping by, watching the series. Until the next episode, enjoy your gaming, and I'll talk to you again soon.